Hey everyone, this is Philip with TDR Auto. So I've been having uh, some issues with this uh, charger. It's got a 3.6 engine. It's got like 150,000 miles. It keeps overheating. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing inspection of the cylinders. So I pull the spark plugs out and <clears throat> we're gonna inspect the cylinder walls and the head gasket just to uh, see if we don't have any coolant going in the cylinders or any other issues. So we have, uh, in this shop, we have one guy that has uh, a very expensive uh, inspection camera that you can stick inside and inspect it. And that camera um, from uh, one of the leading manufacturers of the tools, it was all around $800. And I was like, oh, heck no, I can, I can afford it. But now we got this guy. It's made by Depstech and it's under $100. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. So I had to get one and of course I got the wrong one because this one, this one only has one camera from the front. And for the inspection of the walls, you obviously need a, another camera that's on the side. So uh, I'm returning this one and I, got, uh, and I got the new one that, it's, ex it's exactly the same one. It's just, uh, it just has the camera also from the side here. So you've got an LED light and a camera from the side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that to inspect the cylinder walls. Uh, what's nice about this, this one is that it's true high definition. So it's 1980 by 10 or whatever. It's just a high definition. It's got a really nice picture, especially for the money. It's just unbelievable. You know, it's, you can't go wrong with this one. And you can use it for a bunch of other applications at home. If you want to see inside your sink or, or drain pipes or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of use cases for that. But anyway, um, by looking at the spark plugs, I really don't see any big issues. I don't see any like white discoloration or, or buildup. Um, I pressurized the coolant system. I think I put how much? Uh, I put like 18 PSI and so far it went down to like 16 PSI. So there's a very little leak. I'm just gonna, unfortunately, um, I have not found one that has a, a shorter cable. I think, I believe these are only like 16 feet cables, but it's not a big deal. I just take uh, one loop like this. And one thing to note also is that even if you get it, uh, the expensive one from, uh, from uh, the leading tool manufacturer, uh, you're still not getting any warranty. You, you only, you know, they don't warranty uh, electronic uh, stuff, really. You, you might get uh, a year or whatever. I don't even know exactly, but... All right, so let's see. Power. Just power it up. I gotta hold it, okay. There we go. And it's already live. So what I want is the side view. So I'm gonna press, let's see. Oh no, this, I just took a picture. What's this? There we go. Now I got both cameras on one screen. That's what I want. All right. I need to get another another piece. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, and here we go. So this will be cylinder number one on the right side. Here we go. It's a nice clean picture. That's really cool. Now I'm just gonna rotate the cable. See, I can see the, I can really nicely see the valve. So I think it looks a little wet in here, doesn't it? Take a picture of that. Now I have to say, I, I used the, uh, I used the camera, the one that, uh, the one mechanic paid $800 for, and it wasn't this clear, it was grainy. This is like really high definition. Very cool. But there's also option where you can get, uh, where you can get three cameras. So you got one in the middle that goes straight and then you have two cameras on the side. So you don't have to uh, keep twisting the cable like I do. You can just flip between the two cameras and go back and forth. That would have been even better. And it's, it's not that much money. I think it's like, it's a little bit over hundred bucks, you know, it's, it's nothing, nothing crazy. So I'm inside the cylinder. Now I'm gonna switch to the side view. This is top of the piston. And now I see thread. I'm gonna go a little lower. There we go. Now I can see the valve, the bottom of the cylinder head and the cylinder wall. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna rotate. So you, you can see a little bit of scoring in here but no big deal. And here, you can see a coolant in here. You can see the drop, drip. of the coolant down there. Nice. So that's my issue on cylinder number one. Now we're gonna take a look at cylinder number two. I see some bad scoring in here. You see that score? Yeah, you don't want to see that. It's a straight line going up and down. Those uh, diagonal lines, that's fine. That's how the uh, walls are machined. They're going up and down and sideways, but this this straight line going down, that's, that's a big issue. That's a cylinder score. And over here you can see I got an oil leak. You see that? The oil is dripping, running down the cylinder wall. So that's another big issue. So it's clear for me to say that this engine uh, it's not gonna benefit from head gaskets because there's a bigger issue with uh, with the cylinder score. So just gonna need new engine. You could probably rebuild this engine, rehome the cylinder walls, 
machine the walls and everything but in the dealerships we just replace the whole complete motor this tool absolutely priceless All right, now let's inspect the uh, oil cooler, the famous oil cooler that um, leaks once in a while, that leaks oil. Uh, let's see. These are the plugs that sometimes leak. All right, very nice. Now I can actually see this part and the housing goes into the aluminum, that's uh, where it can leak from the O-rings. So that is cool that now I can take a closer look and take a picture of it because lately the warranty companies are pain in the butt and they, they won't approve. They won't like sometimes br uh, take things apart to the point of failure. So now I can just take a picture if I'll see the leak over there between the housing and there, or from these uh, two plugs. I can take a picture of it right there and I have a proof and I don't need to disassemble just f to tell them, hey, this is the cause of failure. All right, if you guys are interested in this, uh, the links will be in the description. I'm gonna uh, put this one in there, the one with uh, two cameras, and I'm gonna put there the one that has uh, another camera on the opposite side. I think I should have bought that one. What's uh, 30, 40 bucks extra? Thank you guys for watching, and talk to you later.